Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Odin and today we're playing Alan Wake 2 again. <laughs> Um, this is chapter 2, and if you haven't seen chapter 1, there will be a link here or here, I don't know. Um, so yeah, let's go. Um, Nightingale turned into Taken in the last video, so I think in this chapter we're gonna go chase him. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh! just disappeared what the hell is going on here we need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it somehow we need to make sense of this okay saga was back at cauldron lake saga had to pursue nightingale into the overlap finding a way in would be difficult a ritual saga would learn how stop the monster yeah, so we're going back. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. <laughs> uh, right before yeah. things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Um, all right. Okay. Can't be opened on this side. So what are we going to do? Uh, I have to go to my place first? Alright. Um, so a lot of crazy stuff happened. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. I'm this afraid is so. the case we must solve. Um, this is actually pretty cool. I think this is the first time you actually get to see how the Taken are made. Hold of the trees behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the cult of the trees performing rituals. Writing part of the ritual. He's the only victim to become a monster. Mm, I don't think that he was the only person who became a monster. Wait. Oh, you mean? Hmm. So the other Taken are not turned into Taken the same way. Hmm. Yeah. Do I have to speak with this guy? Yeah. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Um, did this guy die? Was he Mulligan? Did Mulligan die? Okay. 
<laughs> we, we heard gunshots. Y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. Thank you. Uh, can I open this? But that's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Hmm. Yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. Monsters are I don't have a key. What do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared? Huh? Can't open this with my bare hands. Hmm. So many locked doors. Mm, they're a fine pair. <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only had a tour guide. Also. Oh yeah, I'm a, a bear. That's nice. Help. Hey, how you doing? Can I open this? Oh, uh, what is this room? Oh wow. Come to the brother's adventure tour. Unforgettable tour. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Hmm. Alright, let's go then. Back to Cauldron Lake. Um, I don't think anything nice is gonna happen. Dark can be used uh, to travel between locations. And repeat. Clock out, get a beer. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey, murder case Casey, <laughs> sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. The same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Um, this is interesting. I think they're already in the story. Like, it's not that the murderers were copying the murders from the book. It was just the same thing happening. Return to the heart. Um, the page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. 
Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need mm. to understand this strange logic. Ah. To see the clues. Mm. To solve the case. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing. Hello. <laughs> Apparently, no. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. FBC? Nasty stuff. Federal How's it going? Of communication. How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna ya Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. Uh, what is this machine? What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and Federal air Bureau toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous weather saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Hulla, Karjalan Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Okay. Steven, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can't not run through a garbage can. That's all, all for right. me. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. I think Sam Lake is from. A lot of Finland. things about this case keep bothering me. No other, no one. But wonder. one thing feels really off. Our characters were also. From Breaker's Finland. disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them, or was protecting him from Nightingale. Spontaneous combustion. I don't know what. Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like home. No sign of a nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Hmm. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Could I? After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Not maybe, definitely. Bare feet. Nightingale. Oh. I'll see where these footprints lead. 
Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. Uh, does it go down by the lake? I think it does. Ooh, did he go back to the lake? Oh, if... Ooh. Are we gonna fight him again? Man, these woods are so creepy. The tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go? Oh God, Jesus! <laughs> <Presence. All right. laughs> Nightingale isn't far. Um, I hope nothing catches me. How can I? Uh, these boxes were also available in the first game. Um, how do I use this? Is he gonna jump out of the water? There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after his cauldron shape, and yet there are many mysteries, so myster mysterious stories about the, uh, about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or of a, of a witch whose cauldron, whose cauldron the lake really was. Uh, the legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named the Witch's Ladle. Uh, the woman returned to avenge her, one, uh, for her wrongdoers. She was not a witch before, she was one now. Uh, she killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake, then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or, the, or so the legend goes. Uh, this is Barbara, isn't it? She looks pretty much like Barbara. Hmm. We didn't have this detail in the first game. What right? is that? It seems like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. Flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. Do I trust I the pages to lead place? me to the overlap. Uh, okay. So just gonna go keep going straight. Um, is that where Barbara lived? Oh my, hello. I don't have a good feeling about this water. Out. Out, out, out. Just thank you. So, uh... Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Do I have to go this way? Uh, yeah. This is the witch's hut. Anderson, thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. Uh, here lived the Witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. So yeah, this is where... I don't know if this is real or if they just made this. But... The page is this described supposed the to be Barbara's house? And mentioned a fuse. 
Is that a shot? Can you take it? Um, the fuse box fuse. is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. This fuse is busted. Man, the crows sound like they're talking. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it, every few seconds, there's a sound like somebody's walking behind you. Which is very creepy. Uh, Mish told me today that her family is moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get, a, get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright <laughs> malls? Um, so I told her, she said thanks. You can kill me. Uh, Monday, I snuck out last night again, went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here, like I always do. Instead of just sitting around, uh, like I always do, screw that. Anyway, something weird is going, going on down there. I'm going to find out what. Going to go back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building, take some photos. It's gonna be epic. Something tells me this guy died. <laughs> yeah, every time you wander around Is near Cauldron Lake. Kids lunchbox? What? Oh. An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. I know things can be a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. So has he become this uh, weapon upgrade? Mani uh, manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mine place. Can I? Uh, I have one, we need 12. Again and again, hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. This significantly increases the rate of fire, increase the magazine size by 50%. Land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. All right. Um, so Alan has become this god figure that watches over people? Did I find the fuse? What, what, what did I find? So what was that? Just... Holy crap, what the hell? This one looks good. Oh god, I'm People so jumpy. Really stop littering though. Is it getting dark? Does time pass in the game? Oh, I have to set the point. Oh my god, everything spooks me out! Uh, the break room is a place where you can save your progress. Okay, save. Another page. Oh, hello. Making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Where am I supposed to go? I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street. 
Street Station. The threshold. Like a doorway. Leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree. Which is ladle? Oh, this just plays a song again. Um, do I have any clues? Figured all this out already. So this goes here, and that goes there. Okay, thank you. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Okay. Do you have anything on this? No. Call it a tree. Uh, the triangle. Uh, call symbols, I think. <clears throat> That's it. Profiling. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? Cultist leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. So is Barbara still alive? I need to check the general store for the heart. I thought I thought you killed Barbara in Alan Wake One. Where's the general store? Uh. Okay. I thought you killed Barbara in Alan Wake One. How could she steal the heart? Uh, which is that? Which way am I supposed to go? Right. Oh, hello. Uh, I can hear stuff breaking in there. Oh god. You hear that? Ooh, give, gives me goosebumps. Do I have to go in? Uh. Uh. Oh, hello. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh. So, Alex did not chase the deer. Oh. Night! Uh, took a flashlight boost to burn through the darkness surrounding him. Occultist. A monster. Like Nightingale. Uh. I don't like this. Oh, he just disappeared. The 
text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. The wave crash on the far side from the far side of the mirror. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Man, you're in the story. You're definitely in the story. I'll save you. Saga edged toward the broken door. Her gun ready. Flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown. Left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They'd been here. Waiting. Planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. Like it was just another late night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist. A hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night. Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask. An axe in his raised hand. Oh god. You're in the story, girl. You're in the story. All of this is happening to you because of because you're in the story. Heart. Uh words on the heart. Sounds literary. But what does it mean? Huh. Found Sorry. the heart in the fridge. <clears throat> Just like the page said I would. Yeah, because you're in the story. Everything on the pages is going to be is going to come true because you're in the story. This is huh. Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. Oh. Um, the inventory is very similar to Resident Evil. That's the type. That's the type of inventory you have in Resident Evil. Um, do you have to check? What am I checking at the, at the counter? Madam Agniska, I think. Palm reading and crystal ball gazing, interpreter of dreams. 705, 713, 717, 723, don't forget update code. Lotto Washington. Um, is it here? Uh, hello. Some suspicious activity spotted. The fielder thought he will, he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were compromised by the fielder. Note to self: Train the fielder. Tuesday, uh, nothing to report. Same at some animals. Regular Wednesday hunters. Uh, hunters out after dark. Poachers. Heard some gunshot. Not one of ours. Got to keep an eye on these people. They could get more. Them. They can get more than they bargain for out there. Um, who wrote this? So there are people hunting here illegally at night. Zero five thirteen seventeen twenty three thirty nine forty five. Oh, they're the same numbers. 705, 713, 717, 7. Uh, there's an X on 23. So, 
Yes. Let's go. The game didn't have this kind of puzzle system before. Uh, Oh, I can do that. Okay. Let's put all that. Okay. Trauma path. Let's put that in too. Um, there was that symbol again. Yeah, there wasn't this uh, puzzle system in Alan Wake One. That's interesting. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. Mm, Witch's Ladle. We're going back into the water again. I hate this. Yo, hello. See, I told you. God damn it! Okay, Ooh. I think that's all of them. What do you think? But I'm out of ammo. Get two shells for the shotgun. It's not enough. Really not enough. This is Barbara. This is Barbara. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart witch. Show me the terror. I think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Casey, do you read me? Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Mom. Logan? Mom, help. Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things.
was that? Is that Alan? Wait. Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. Hmm. Need to find Nightingale. The writer was writing again. Uh, is that supposed to help? Okay. Got them crows in this game, man. He's here. Of course he's here. Uh I don't know where to go. Is he gonna is he gonna get me like right when I No Suspense. What is that? Shotgun ammo? Oh, okay. Ooh, I got five. Yeah, let's go. that red light to go through it oh man he's so gonna Ooh. oh yo you're fast you're fat and fast Oh, 
Sorry. No, no, no. No, oh, no. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Where am I supposed to go? No. Where? Holy crap. <laughs> I can hear him. Ooh, no, 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 no. Am I dead? Am I, am I? Oh, no, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Oh, trauma pad. Yeah, let's do this trauma pad. Is that gonna happen every time? Uh, Those boxes always have something useful in them. Is it like a replacement for the torch boxes? Okay, well, Dude, I just wasted one. Uh. Oh god, I'm so bad. Two bullets. I mean, two shells. And I'm also out of battery. This is bad. This is bad. Who was that? The hangar? Dude, if he comes again, I don't, I don't have anything. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I don't see him! Where is he? Oh god! Uh, hold on, hold on. I shouldn't have wasted those two shells. It's my own fault. <sighs> it's so tense. Dude, the fighting is so tense. This is not how the story goes.
The difficulty level can be changed at any time in the options menu. Oh, yeah, uh, thanks. <laughs> Is the game hinting that I'm not good enough to play the game? Slower when your health is critically low, making you more vulnerable to enemies. Oh, it started from the beginning. Okay. At least I know what I'm supposed to do. This gets me every time. Get from the box anyway. Oh, was the hand gonna have a okay. God, I used too many shells this time again. Oh, no, 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 no touching, no touching. So I can s oh, I don't need to shoot it with two shells. Oh, but I think I've already messed up. Bullets to the head is enough. Okay. Come on, please. Give me a box. Give me a box. Mm. That's where he comes from. Come on, let me go, no touching! No touching. Where the box? Where was the box? I'm 
out of my ammo. Out of ammo. That's the only chance I have. Come on. Oh, I'm jumping right into his face. Come on, die. God damn it. I don't miss. I got two bullets left. And he did it though. Can I just run away? Okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it differently this time. So I think if you hit the red spot with either gun, it's gonna do the same amount of damage. So I'll do that first, then I'll switch back to the shotgun. This is so messed up, man. This is so messed up every single time. Has this always been here? Oh, whoa, 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 chill, chill, chill. Bro, chill. No touching, no touching. No touching. Touch me! Oh, 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 I have to keep pressing. Holy crap. I thought when he 
animation starts, you just let go. Man, I used way too much. There's no way, is there? I think I'll just have to just let it go. Dude, come on! You were just here! So if I come this way, he's gonna he's gonna show up twice? Okay, we got him, but I'm out of everything. Oh, I'm going the other way around. Going the other way around. Supposed to go? I'm going back. I'm going back. Ah. Uh. It's not even scary anymore at this point. It's just annoying. You have to manage your bullets. I'm gonna get you this time. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, what the 
the hell? Ooh, okay. So, I can either go left or I can either go right. Does it matter? I think it was harder when I went that way. But I think it just loops. It goes the same direction. It ends up in the same place. So, let's go this way. At least I know I have a to shoot at the chest every time? I think the game is taking it easy on me. <laughs> uh, how many... One. Yeah, see, I, I kind of like this. Yeah, I think the game was just taking a deep breath. And you never know how much you have to shoot him every time. So annoying, you can never manage your ammo. Ooh, this is a big part, right? Uh, let's go for this. Bug out? Oh, he's stuck! <laughs> okay. Thank you, game. <laughs> oh, dude, he's stuck. <laughs> Does that mean free headshots? Yes. That means free headshots, baby. Well, if he doesn't do that. Yes, you are trapped in the far side. Am I shooting the tree trap? How many times do you have to shoot this guy? Now this is the last bullet. You better die. Yes! Finally when the game bugged. <laughs> Let's go, baby. That was pure skill. <laughs> Ooh, Alan. Who are you? What is this? 
Who are you? You me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I have to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Oh, did he escape? Did Alan Are finally okay? escape? No! It's my fault! He got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name... Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Oh. Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? Oh, man. Okay, I guess that is it for this video. Yeah. Ooh, that was so cool. I feel kind of bad that I beat the level when the game bugged, but well, what can you do? I mean, you gotta take your chances when you have them. Anywho, uh, thank you for liking this video and subscribing to our uh, channel. I'll see you in the next video with the next chapter. Take care.